Nestled among the foothills of the Austrian Alps is one of the country's most pristine lakes, the Traunsee. Its eastern bank edges up to the Traunstein Mountain. The lake is even said to meet standards for drinking water. It's home to many plants and animals and to a very unusual species of fish. The Traunsee is a very clean lake which makes the quality of the fish very good. The special thing about our fish stocks is that we have a fish called the Riedling, which only lives in the Traunsee. The Riedling is a member of the same family as salmon and trout and tends to swim at great depths. It only grows to be about 20 centimeters in length and has a very strong flavor. With his catch on board, the fisherman heads toward the thousand-year-old castle Schloss Ort, which is now home to the restaurant Orter Stuben. And on the palace grounds, the chef puts the freshly caught fish straight onto the charcoal grill. Cooking reedling in this way is an old tradition which used to be only done by fishermen. It's important for us to serve our customers with fresh fish. We only season it with coarse salt. It's pure nature. The Riedling is only lightly grilled, which means it's still succulent by the time it's served. Traditionally, it's served with a glass of beer. But tradition is not the only thing on the menu beneath the ancient wooden ceiling of a palace that was once one of the Habsburg dynasty's favorites. Our food is not rustic, it's very modern. My son cooks here and he is one of those ambitious young people with their own ideas who have a completely different philosophy. The junior chef, Christoph Patzer, prepares the Riedling in a completely different way. He turns the Traunze fish into a filet with peas and Savoy cabbage. The most important thing is to have your own creativity. Being creative and not just following in the footsteps of others is what gives a chef his signature. The fish is seasoned with coarse salt. Its skin side is dipped in flour before being fried in oil. You have to fry it only skin side down, otherwise it gets too dry. The Savoy cabbage is braised in cream with salt, pepper and nutmeg and accompanied by a pea puree. We place great importance on cooking what's in season, and the cabbage is currently in season, combined with peas, which go well in terms of color. Peas, cabbage and the fish are draped over the pea puree, so the Riedling is not only a treat for the taste buds, but for the eye as well. We just try to do things with regional produce, and I enjoy cooking everything. But most of all, when I have really fresh ingredients and can turn them into something great. And in the ambiance of Schloss Ort, where Emperor Franz Josef dined more than a century ago, the fresh Riedling tastes even better. <laughs>